Hey brewers, it's Paul here, and today we're gonna take a look on how to ferment your beer in a keg. Why would you want to do that? Couple reasons. One, relatively inexpensive compared to, let's say, an SS Brewtech brew bucket or a fancy Chronicle fermenter. You might already have some laying around that are not always full. And the other reason is you can ferment under pressure, which you can't do in like a $300 SS Brewtech brew bucket. There's a few ways you can go about doing this. Number one, your liquid dip tube that goes to the bottom. Once this is done fermenting and all the sediment collects to the bottom, it's gonna clog this. You're not gonna be able to get the beer out. Or if you do, it would come up into your poppet, get that all clogged. We don't want that. So you got two options. One, cut the dip tube. So in that way, it's not going all the way to the bottom. Or the option I prefer, grab yourself a carbonation lid and a floating dip tube. So this will float on top as you're transferring out of the carbonation lid. It's got that ball lock disconnect on there. And then as it goes down, you also wanna cut this, you know, you don't want it too long. When you start seeing sediment come out, just take your disconnect off and uh, you're done. The other neat thing is you could put on the spunding valve and uh, ferment under pressure. So this will carbonate your beer as it's fermenting. Either it'll be fully carved when you're done or at least pretty close. It'll save you some time on getting your beer carbonated. If you don't have a spunding valve or don't want to spend the money on one, no worries. Uh, give me one sec, I grabbed the wrong disconnect. All right, so you don't have a spunding valve, grab your gas disconnect, put on a piece of blow off tube, put that on the gas out. So this just has a small dip tube that goes right about up to here. I find that the most wort you'd wanna put in here to ferment is 18 liters. That will leave you a little bit of space before it's touching the dip tube for some crozen, that sort of thing. Um, and then all you do, grab a bigger bottle than this or a growler, fill it up halfway with some sanitizer, Put that in there, there's your blow off. It's basically acting as your airlock. So when your beer is done fermenting, let's say we use the floating dip tube here. So that's floating on top of the beer. Just grab your keg that you wanna transfer to. You wanna go the outside. So that's the one with the liquid dip tube that goes all the way to the bottom. I would depressurize this if you were fermenting under pressure and then hook it up to the floating dip tube, jumper it to the liquid side of your receiving keg. There you go. And then just hook up your CO2, you know, five PSI, something like that. Make sure you either crack the lid or just uh, open up the pressure relief valve and your beer will transfer over. That's pretty much it. These are nice and easy to clean once you're done. So it makes for a good option if you have some spares kicking around. So that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Have you ever tried fermenting in a keg like this? How did you like it? What did you use? If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to our channel if you want to see more content like this. Thanks and cheers.